Hey guys, a little bit of a tips video for you today. This is Hoaxy Plays, and I'm coming at you with a video on a little tip for dual PvP. Um, my, it's a very, very simple tip. It's to buff up before you go into your duels. So I'll give you, I'll show you how I do that. I use my buff. I use my other buff, and then I use my potion. And what I do is I uh, queue into matching after I use my potions. And while we're waiting, I'll talk about my build. I am 138. I am using a pet build, so my pet is very high. Also, make sure to heal your pet to full every time you get into uh, before you go into a match. This might take a minute, but sometimes it'll be worth it. Eat your buff food if you have it. And so you're going to buff up all the way before a match, and you're going to want to use you know i like to have my buffs in my second bar you want to have your stuns first in my opinion and then you have your strong attack or your cc or you have your cc on your second bar and you can switch to your second bar in the middle of fights to show it off and do like a cc attack or a slow during the fight and i'll try to show you all in a second so as soon as we get into a match i'll come back and i'll talk to you all some more Alright guys, look like we got into a match. I uh, should still have my buffs on. And the reason why I have my buffs on the right side of the screen... Well, I, I mean I could show you all, but... I could buff up in the middle of the match, but it takes time. And then you would have to switch to your second bar. And this, let, this is letting me have more skills out. So I'll turn auto on, run over, use my stuns, insta-kill this pet, use my big attack, and he's dead. And had to buff it all. And if you did, if you didn't notice, I didn't drink my potion at all. That's because my potion buff was already active before I went into the match, which means I saved my buff. I didn't have to use my buff again. Now, if you die, you do lose your buff, and you will need to rebuff. And if you're using the pet build like me, you'll need to rebuff because the buffs don't last that long. And I'll try to queue into a match again and see if we can get lucky. Oh, and the matchmaking is taking so long right now that it's hard to get into another match immediately to show you all off. I'll try to show you all one more time. Be right back. All right, guys, we're into another match. This is it's only been about 10 or so seconds, about 10, 15 seconds or so. And just pay attention to me, pay attention to my character. I will not drink any potion. This buff should still be active. And I will go on auto. If you go on auto, you will drink a potion if you do not have the buff. So, click the auto button. See, I don't drink the potion. I go straight to attacking. He got his buff off. But I killed him. Uh, now, in that situation, I kind of froze up because I'm recording. But usually, if you get stunned like that, if you get knocked back and stunned by an archer, you, you need to immediately click your, your stun free skill in the bottom right, which I should not have used it. That was dumb of me, but... That's what I should have done, and I and I didn't. So that's that's just how you can buff up before you go into a duel. I will go ahead and show you off my build though, since I know some of y'all are gonna be wondering. I use a pet build. I went to 70 agility. Um, the extra agility is just from the equipment that I have. Then I have my charm up to 166. That is from all of my points after I got 70 base and agility. Every single point went into charm. Then I put all my gear into it. I have the royal arrows for the piercing power, and I have a lot of my gear is set to have charisma on it. I don't know, not all of it does, but most of it does have charisma. That's because I want to get through PvE content, and the pet build does give a lot, a lot, a lot of PvE content very easily. I also get 10 extra uh, charisma from my food that I'm using, and I also... I mean, that's basically it, honestly. I have the Cyclops pet, which increases my defense against characters and pierce resistance. Significantly beneficial against archers. So any archers that I fight are pretty weak, weaker against me. Like, I should have died in that fight just now, but because of that, I probably is the reason why I survived, honestly. And these are my skills that I have. So I have Slow Shot Intermediate Level 1, Winds Fury Intermediate Level 1, Blind... Uh, Novice level 7, Scattershot Intermediate level 1, Enchant Arrow Intermediate level 1, 
I'm working on getting this to master level because it gets a significant boost in pet crit rate along with the pet attack in general. Along with Wind's Guidance, um, Enhanced Training, Max Health, Leather's uh, level 1, Intermediate level 1. Then I upgrade this just a little bit. I just spent like very few books just to get this up a little bit. Just for the little bit of attack that it gives. But I wouldn't max that anytime soon. I increase Moonlight Spirit so I get extra attack for all my ag uh, agility and charm that I have. And I put a little bit into this for a little bit of HP. And I need to get this up some more. And I need to get this up some more. Which I actually want to upgrade that now. So that's that's all of my skills set up. If you have any more questions, please do ask me. I love answering questions. If you want a video, if you have an idea for a video that you would like that might help you, I'm willing to make videos. I'm willing to give spots where I farm at. Um, any guides, any sculpture guides I can give. I For a charm build for Archer, I do have the cube sculpture along with some other sculptures that I'm working on currently that... When you get them to master, they'll give extra charm. You can see my buff just disabled. And I can use it again. I can rebuff and go back into a duel if I wanted to. Um, That's basically it, guys. If you have any questions, just ask me below. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.